What's something that is totally normal in movies, but never happens in real life? Bombs with a special display that counts down to zero. Being able to outrun an explosion. In horror movies I always enjoy how fast and deep a perfectly symmetrical grave gets dug. Meeting new friends the minute you move to a new town. Women can be in the jungle for days, but no body hair anywhere. Men instantly grow a beard. Unless they are written to be stupid comic relief. People in movies talk with zero filler words. In real life very few people are able to do that. People recovering very quickly from injuries. Especially head injuries. People not screaming in absolute agony when shot or stabbed in the gut. Reservoir Dogs is one movie that did it realistically. People waking up with perfect makeup. My wife points this out in everything we watch. Guy walks in holding a 30 page document. Gives to some other dude. The dude who's getting the document glances at the first page for an second and immediately knows everything there is to know about this case. Hacking is typing really fast. Actually being able to have a conversation at a bar while music is playing. Unlimited bullets and accuracy 100% for shooting normal bad guys. Police take a DNA sample and have the results in an hour. In action movies, where the main character kills like 100 bad guys. Scientists in any field are experts in every other field of science as well. E. G. The physicist in Annihilation concluding the tree formations are due to homeotic mutations. Serial killers just standing there staring at you and giving you enough time to escape. Cars exploding on impact. Taking one bite and you are done haha. You cough. You die. Using guns in small rooms with no ear protection. Without being affected by the very loud bang that would probably damage your hearing. Easily avoidable issues if the person just explains what is happening. A crash or chase happens with shooting and stuff and every other car continues to drive as if nothing is going on around them. People slam on the brakes in real life cause a cop is going the opposite direction on the highway. Yet you watch a Marvel movie and a dude's tailgating of Ancy PT America and Ultron are actively fighting on. Edit. Fixing errors. Always having your hair look nice. Silences make a PFFFFT sound. Silences are still pretty loud. If you shoot one it won't go unnoticed. Working as a waitress, and living in a huge apartment, with the fridge full, and expensive clothes. Wherever the detective has to go, he always finds a parking spot right in front of the place. Downtown Manhattan included. Every computer in a movie, or show constantly chirps slash beeps slash speaks when used. That would be really damn annoying in real life. Most knockout drugs don't work very fast. Chloroform is always depicted to be some instant knockout drug when in reality it takes several minutes of constant exposure to knock someone unconscious. I'd guess a bad guy standing there for 7 minutes waiting for the hero to pass out would probably make for a boring movie. Walking home from the grocery store carrying a single paper bag with an unwrapped loaf of French bread sticking out the top. People surviving wounds slash injuries that should be fatal. Not saying bye before hanging up. School in movies just consumes about 10% of the day. Someone goes up to a bar and asks for alcohol or beer and the bartender gives it to them without asking the brand or type. I don't have time to explain. We need to go. Teenagers being built like ducking tanks. Not sneezing or coughing edit. Tack in a crap too. Good one. Not doing the awkward goodbye, where you say bye then hang on a second to see if they're gonna say anything else. It always bugged me when on a show kids would be getting ready for school and it'd be sunny out. Maybe I just had an early start time. But it was always still dark out when I was up and getting ready for school. 
women in war zones and other long-term disaster situations with filthy matted hair, and tattered grimy clothes always seem to find the time, to have perfectly groomed eyebrows, and put on a little makeup. All channels always having either news or old movies. Not making mistakes when talking. Enhancing a crappy quality image to 4K, and zooming into the size of microbe with perfect clarity. Nobody ever has to use the toilet. A small misunderstanding, not resolved by explaining, goes on to create an entire chain of wacky hygienics, usually initiated by backquote weight. I can explain. Mom makes a huge breakfast, and lays it all out. Kids and husband grab a badger on the way out the door ignoring all the food. The pushy dude in the rom com ends up getting the girl, whereas in real life they'd be more likely to end up with a restraining order. Things going according to plan. Hackers. Perfect code. First try. No issues ever. If your code runs correctly first try, you're confused and scared. Having one or two drags of a cigarette, and throwing it away. You know how expensive those ducking things are. Background music. Life would be so much better with background music. Uninterested woman has a sudden change of heart for the loser guy and they live happily ever after. Women covering their boobs with a blanket after sex. Also under the cover sex. Especially in summer. People in their 20s, having large lavish apartments. People not talking over each other during a conversation. Everyone is always waiting for the other, to finish their thought when in reality people are impatient and interrupt constantly. My dad's complaint about TV and movies. Sex happening in seconds fully clothed with zero foreplay. It's as if the guy just falls into her sticking his thing through his zipper. Immediate penetration. Women sleeping with full face macup and perfect hair. How normalized stalking is. You drop this. So I followed you for 3 hours, to give it back kiss and hug. Now we are dating. In reality, it's Mason call the cops for stalking. People in movies working with computers absolutely never use spacibar. Backspace and mouse. They just mash on the keyboard and somehow it all magically makes sense. Also, hacking slash programming. There was a movie on last week where a guy pulled up CMD. Typed a night config and dramatically declared. I hacked FBI. It was a perfectly serious scene. And I spent 5 minutes laughing hysterically, before changing the channel. Those 1 in a million chances, where someone survives for plot or a side character dies. For plot. Kids at a school dance are all up dancing. In real life they just stand in circles and talk. At least when I was a teenager that's how it was. Someone needs to make a movie, where every single scene is just one of these cliches people are naming. Everyone's house is neat and tidy. How easy revenge ducking some owns husband slash wife is. Guys kiss girls to shut them up. Suddenly singing and with matching choreography. That teens have these highly sexual drug fueled lives. Like weed yeah maybe but just a little exaggerated. Women orgasm within seconds edit wow thanks for the awards. Answering your phone, when you don't recognize the number. In a boxing movie, the hero always wins by dramatic KO in the later rounds, having lost every round up until that point, and taking a severe beating. In reality, the fight would have been stopped in his opponent's favor several rounds previously. When the girl is walking on the street holding her books, and bumped into an attractive man, who helps her collecting her books from the floor. Then they look at each other, and fall in love. No one ever says bye on the phone. All carried luggage is light af no one needs a haircut. Ever. People who wake up, and start making out. We all know you have dog crap breath first thing in the morning. Nobody charging their dang phones, when they go to bed. Bonus points for characters who are waiting for an important phone call. Where in the hell do they get these phones with super mega battery life? Turning on the TV to exactly the right thing. Arrested development did. A great bit. Making fun of this trope. Running with high heels. 
and not breaking a bone. Subtitles When they throw a cigarette on petrol, gas, and it lights up. That actually doesn't happen in real life. The cigarette isn't hot enough for it to cause this. People in movies can tell if other characters are speaking sarcastically or not. Clarity is more often sought out in real life conversations.